fire. How's it going, Boobazetta? Boobaz is Junior here, and today I'm here with my little brother. And yeah, he's eating Cheetos in the background. And if you guys follow me on Boobaz Junior 2 on my secondary channel, you guys will know that we were talking about Slatan Ibrahimovic coming to LA Galaxy. And that's exactly what this video is about. What my thoughts are on him switching to LA Galaxy. Now, this isn't 100% confirmed, but there's big rumors of him coming over to Galaxy, especially since his contract ended with United. And for today's gameplay, I am playing as Manchester United and what I think would be their image of how they would play without Ibrahimovic. And, uh, yeah, I still, so it's not gonna change anything. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just showing you guys. All right, before we actually do play, I actually want to show you this. This is what I think would happen if Slatan left. All right, so this is what I think the team would look like without Ibrahimovic here on the left. This is Manchester United's side, and honestly, I don't think things would change much except for Michael Harris. Harry Harrison Ryan would uh, go to the right. <laughs> And martial arts would go on the left, and then um, Rash, but Rashford would go in the middle. Now this could also be changed with Wayne Rooney coming in at the middle as well, but I doubt he'll be playing in that front and center. So I think this guy would be switched out here, and I think Wayne Rooney would move up ahead. And if you are a Manchester United fan, and you guys are like, "Wow, this guy's fucking up the whole entire team," well, don't worry. It's just a thing I would come up with uh i don't know why he's not in the so real madrid have stopped looking to buy de gea and now they're going for gianluigi from ac milan so yeah so de gea is probably gonna stay here for a lot longer juan mata could also play in the position rooney is playing in and this is what i think the manchester united lineup could look like of course pogba is here on the right He's a great presence on the game. Now, if they do want to go a more of an attacking approach, they would move these guys up and leave the midfield a little bit more empty than usual. So, on LA Galaxy side, I think not much would change. Zardes would probably move in. If not, this could be a two-man job between him and Ibrahimovic. Boateng, uh, as a left midfielder, would probably move in more of a left winger. Same as Alessandrini on the right. And I think they would just provide crosses in, especially with Ibrahimovic's huge, huge height. And he would just be heading in goals, doing those scorpion kicks. That would be awesome. So we're going to go ahead and get back into the match so you guys don't get bored as we talk. Ibrahimovic is a free agent since his contract has ended with Manchester United. And the worst part is he is injured. So he's going to be out until around 2018, basically. So he won't be playing until next year. And... Honestly, I think I think it's kind of sad because even if he does come to LA, we probably won't see any action from him until then. But LA Galaxy season doesn't start up until March again, so it's not much to be worried about. So we just saw an amazing goal from Marcus Rashford. Oop, that was a foul. Sorry, sir. So even though you mentioned the United have had a lot of good players join them, I don't think their season is going how they want it to be. Paul Pogba with that record, record transfer fee. And then Ibrahimovic on a free loan. I think they've thrown a lot, a lot of money around, even though Ibrahimovic was a free player. But still, they've paid him a lot. And that's why they're letting him go primarily, my thought is, because he's going to be being paid a lot for not playing until 2018. And they can't waste money like that, and they know it. So... Yeah, as you guys can tell here, LA Galaxy is not doing good. And that's because my brother has not played FIFA as much as I have. So, don't criticize him. That's why he doesn't upload FIFA. So, Gershom, if you see Ibrahimovic come to LA Galaxy, what would your reaction be? Happy. I don't even know if I should be happy. Happy! Uh, I would be pretty damn excited. I don't know if I'd... I'd kind of be worried because that means LA Galaxy's paying a lot. And what if Ibrahimovic doesn't come out to be a good player here? He's a great player, but sometimes it's not about just the player. It's about the team as well. 
You can see that with Messi in Argentina. He's a great player. He's the best player to ever step on the football field, in my opinion. But in Argentina, he's just not the same player he is with Barcelona because, well, as you guys can see from the games in Argentina, nobody's backing him up. You need a team, not a player, and that's what I'm talking about here. So my brother, obviously, he's 11 years old, so he doesn't know fucking hell. So he doesn't know much about, you know, stuff like transfers and things like that. But he knows the basic stuff. And he knows who Slatan Ibrahimovic is. Who doesn't know who Slatan is? is? Yeah, Slatan is like a, a religion in itself. Like oh, no. <laughs> no! Ibra. <laughs> Ibra <laughs> misses the shot. Ibra doesn't pray. What are you talking about? Prayers ask for Ibra. So, again, Ibrahimovic leaves United and comes to LA Galaxy. Good thing or bad thing? Bad thing for United uh, in itself because Ibrahimovic was their top goal scorer. And he was a great player there. Good thing for Galaxy because, well, we have a great player. There's, Like I said, only one bad thing is if he doesn't play good. If he messes up here, then... Pretty much, we just have an amazing player going to waste, and that's something we don't want. So, Galaxy, you better be in first place on that table because you have Slatan Ibrahimovic on your team. Oh no! Oh no! So yeah, obviously for the MLS, uh, which should be called the MLF, but whatever. Uh. The MLS, we go for LA Galaxy, at least until F FC Los Angeles comes into play. Oh, no. I messed up. No. Damn it. Okay, so it's 2-1 here. Zardes gets the goal. That's weird. I thought Ibrahimovic would score, but whatever. My God, Ibrahimovic's head was inside Zardes' head. You smell so great, Zardes. <laughs> and here we go. Cross in. Cross in. And like I said, United will be missing that. Oh, what? How did he stop that? It's Delson Rowe. It's Delson. What? Oh, no. What? I'm going to score. Oh, 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 what a cracking play. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. What a goal. What an amazing goal from Martial Arts. He used that Kung Fu kick to put that in the goal. Because <laughs> his name is Martial. Martial versus the machines. You him. saw him break dance? Yes, guys! Let's go, guys! That's a question I have for EA. Why for the Premier League you have this spontaneous, amazing looking colored bar that looks way different than any other league? But then when you have this, like a league like the MLS, La Liga, and stuff like that, you have this boring, same old bar that just changes color, it doesn't even change anything. Yeah, but they're all the same. Unless you're playing in the Premier League. Like, if you're playing Manchester United or Manchester City, then it changes. Ah, uh, what was that, martial arts? <laughs> what did I do? Ali <laughs> Boumaier. Martial arts, go, 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 go. No! What did I do? I don't know. Look at him go. I didn't even see, guys. My name is... Oh, that's penalty. That was a penalty. Oh, I thought that went in. <laughs> I thought that flipped in. Oh! <laughs> what a goal. What a goal. Let's do this. Let's do this. I am gay. I am. And yeah. I think this pretty much shows exactly what would happen if Slatan left. Nothing. <laughs> LA Galaxy is still not going to be the best. Manchester United is still going to be kind of good. Boom. Ah, 
Uh, that was with his left foot. You can't say shit. That's oh, off. I got all my players to run forward. You saw that? <laughs> oh, I didn't. Do it. Let's get the manita. Let's get the manita. Oh. Why did Ryan do that? Damn it. That's exactly what we think would happen if Alien Galaxy got Ibra and they played against Manchester United without Ibrahimovic. 4 1. And this whole video is exactly how we feel if Slatan joined Galaxy. So, you know. Maybe we can get top table unless Ibrahimovic flops here, but hopefully not. And yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Say goodbye, Gershom. Goodbye. And if you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like. And if you think I should change anything, comment down below what I should change. And apart from that, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.